Question. Your book, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind, which is a New York Times bestseller and says very, very well, is now published in German. And since March 2017, congratulations to that. Thank you. And you called your book is a personal disruption book. What does it mean? Okay, so in the book, I say this isn't a personal growth book, it's a personal disruption book. Now, the reason for that is sometimes to create the next great thing in your life, you have to disrupt existing models of thinking, mm -hmm. right? Many people look at personal growth and they are building up based on a foundation that was installed in them from the schooling system. But what if that foundation was fundamentally flawed? See, humanity is going through an era of exponential technological change. If you think about it, by 2029, According to Ray Kurzweil, the director of engineering at Google, all of us will, in our pocket, have an artificial intelligence on our smartphone, sort of like um, Tony Stark's character in the movie mm -hmm. Iron Man. He had this AI called Jarvis. He can ask Jarvis for anything, and Jarvis okay. can give him any question. All of us are going to have our own personal artificial intelligence in our cell phone. The world is going to be more connected than ever. With all of these emerging new technologies, a lot of the old rules of thinking are going to fundamentally change. Let me give you a couple of other examples, right? Many people say universal basic income is going to be a reality. Robots are going to start replacing jobs. Algorithms are going to start replacing jobs. 45% of the jobs out there in the world today are going to disappear in the next 10 years. So why personal disruption? because many people are still setting goals based on an old world. We set goals to be a lawyer, to be a doctor, to be in marketing. What if these jobs don't exist 10 years from now? 10 years from now, what if our working hours go down, even below the French, to about 20 hours a week? What if universal basic income is a reality and everyone in Germany, everyone in the United States is earning a basic income of about $1,500 or euros a month? What would the world look like? So when I say personal disruption, what I'm talking about is teaching people to set goals, to set their vision for themselves, not based on the old rules, but based on where society is going to be, because this way, you're going to prepare yourself better than everyone else and you're going to prepare your children better than anyone else. Now, there are, see, there are a number of different things which I ask people to look at. You've got to understand that the world around you, in the words of Steve Jobs, and I, I quote this in the book, is made up of people no smarter than you. But we follow these rules blindly. Yet, the pace of science the pace of research, the pace of technology is showing us that many of these rules no longer apply. Let me just rattle off a couple, right? College degrees. I know especially in Germany, people spend years of their life getting a college degree. What if this is no longer going to be necessary five years from now? Already if you look at many companies, my company, even Google, 15% of their staff do not have a college degree. Second, let's look at our models for health, nutrition and longevity. According to Singularity University, if you're 40 years old today, today, if you're 40, your lifespan is likely going to be 100 plus. And that is because medical science right now is adding three months to the average Western human being's lifespan for every year they live. And after 2030, it's going to be one year for every year you live. You do the math. If you're 40 today, you're going to live to be 100. But what will that life look like? Will you still have a youthful body or will you be aged with back problems and, and, and have wrinkles and, and not have the energy to fully function? You look at health and, and fitness. So many things that we do right now for our health actually may be counter effective for us. Jogging. Turns out some science is now saying that jogging is not actually exercise. It wears you out as you get older. Aerobics, highly inefficient. Now you look at models for spirituality, whether it's organized religion or it's things such as five, 10 day meditation retreats. Many of those actually are highly, highly, highly ineffective. They are shorter, faster shortcuts to get you the brain states of enlightenment without having to spend years or months in a lotus position. 
what I do in this book is without being emotionally attached to anything, to any dogma or any culture or anything that has existed thus far in society, I say, look, we're going to look at the facts, we're going to look at the science, and what I'm going to show you is the fastest ways to get to where you want to be.